First, we need to have a match of the build order we want to copy in the format of a recorded game. If the match is a recent game we ourselves played, it is easy since we already have it in the game. But if we want to look elsewhere, it is possible to retrieve the recording of virtually any game played on the ranked ladder. The easiest place to find them is the website aoe2.net. From there we can either spectate any ongoing ranked game, or pick out a recently played game from a player. To retrieve the profile page of a player, we head on over to the leaderboards tab, where we can either search by player name, or pick out a player from the leaderboard. If for instance we are curious what sort of build order one of the top players of the leaderboard is up to, we can go to their profile, where we can see their recently played games. For a better chance of finding a working recorded game, pick the player who played most recently. For this example it is Villasse. The website also specifies what map and which civilizations were played in the matches, so if we are looking for a specific civilization's build order on a specific map, we have the ability to do so. I'm going to pick this game, where Villasse played a Spanish on Arabia and won versus Hoang. When we have found the match in which we want to see the used build order, we can download the recorded game file via the download icon next to one of the player names. We then extract the compressed folder and move the recorded game file to the directory C, Users, Your Username, Games, Age of Empires 2 DE, Your Profile Code, Save Game. Once the file is in this directory, it will appear as any other recorded game we have once we boot up the game. We're going to be pausing the game a lot, so before we head into the recorded game, we prepare what we need in order to properly write down the observed build order. We need a spreadsheet from an Excel software or equivalent. I have made a template which you can download from the video description so you don't have to draw up all the parameters from scratch. Though, if you want to, you can also go old school and use pen and paper. Once we have the spreadsheet ready, we start the recorded game. We then pause every villager, which is 25 in-game seconds. Then we write down to which task the villager goes. We can also follow the distribution of villagers, but this step is not necessary unless you really want to. We also write down other notable things, such as villagers being moved from one resource to another, whether the scout pushes deer, or the player starts walling. It can easily happen that we miss something notable, in which case it is very easy to just immediately restart the recording and fast forward to what we missed. We only write down the start of the game, no further than about 30 villagers. This is because it's too unpredictable how the game will be like that late on, where so much depends on reacting to what the enemy is doing. When observing a build order, it is important to estimate whether an observed action is part of the general build order, or something the player is forced to do in adapting to how the match has developed. For instance, in this specific example, Villasa builds three defensive towers in Feudal Age, but I would say that building three defensive towers in Feudal Age isn't a mandatory part of the build order, but rather something you may have to do in order to survive a possible aggression from the enemy. Now we have the build order on paper, and can apply it like any other build order guide. And if we are unsure about something, we can just return to the recorded game we sourced the build order from. I will leave this build order spreadsheet I made of Willis's match in the description for you to download if you wish. And also the spreadsheet's template, so you can go copy build orders on your own if you like. But remember when you are playing yourself, that it is you who are playing, and not the build order. You need to adapt to the game when necessary. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.